guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to Bonus Clip Thursday. What's going on? It is a beautiful, sunny Tuesday morning, and I'm just hanging out outside on the step, waiting for Rob to come and pick me up to head out of town and go do some shopping. I just took the recycling out. I didn't figure there's any point in going back inside after it. You can't see it because it's behind the snow at the end of the driveway, but I did take it out. I didn't figure there's any point in going back inside and taking my shoes off and stuff and then waiting for like three or four minutes until Rob showed up and then putting my shoes back on and then going back outside. I figured I might as well just wait here. So that's what we're doing. We're hanging out. Waiting for Rob to come and pick me up and go do some shopping. Cool beans. I'm at the Walmart and I just wanted to uh, take a look at the coats and stuff. And uh, a little wandering around. Checking stuff out. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot new, but we'll look. Back in Tony's toy section. Just checking out the games and stuff. Seeing what's going on. It's pretty much all about Rise of the Tomb Raider for me right now, though. Just came out. For PC, I picked it up, of course. I've been playing it on my Alienware 15, which actually I can't run it on a very high. I can just run it on high, and then I get like 55 to 60 FPS. Very high, the FPS drops down to like 30 to 40. It's still playable, but uh, it looks a lot better on a run, run smoother on high than it does on very high. So. I've stuck with very high, or high I mean, so there you go. I'm thinking about getting a different monitor though. I've been flirting with the idea of picking up a 2560 by 1440 monitor instead of the TV. Just something I'm tossing around my head, I really haven't made any decisions yet, but I thought I'd take a look here at Walmart, see what they got for monitors, but no. Yeah, no, not today. The biggest monitor they have here at Walmart is a 24 inch 1080p Samsung. So the price is decent, 200 bucks, but um, it's not what I want. I want at least 27, 2560 by 1440, so they don't have anything like that here. I didn't think they would. It hadn't hurt to look, though. All right, cool beans. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to grab some coffee for mom, and uh, that's going to be it. I don't think I need anything else today. All right, cool beans. Back home again. I've been home for quite a long time now, most of the day. In fact, I was home before noon, and it's now like 8.40 p.m. So I've been home all day. Um, didn't really do a whole lot today. Did a little tidying around the house, watched some Netflix, and pretty much looked at bikes all night. That is pretty much all I did. I'm probably going to need a new bike this year. Um, Alice is like four years old, three, four years old. And um, things are starting to wear out on my bike, Alice. Unfortunately, um, the wheels are wearing out, which is the biggest expense. They weren't super high quality. It's only a thousand dollar bike. So um, when you put the kind of miles on a bike that I do, the kind of kilometers on a bike that I do, since we're in Canada, we use kilometers, not miles. Um, it's probably got over 10,000 kilometers out at this point, probably closer to 12 or 12 to 15,000 probably, because I ride generally four to 5,000 kilometers a year, three to three to five, three to 5,000 kilometers a year. Um, three, four years old, that puts it at like 12 to 15,000 kilometers. So um, on the same set of wheels, um, sooner or later things wear out. So I'm pretty much gonna need a new set of wheels, a new chain ring for the front cranks, a new cassette for the back wheel and a new chain. Um, just to get it up and running in the spring and, and fix it up and get it ready for the season. Um, that's gonna run like five to 600 bucks uh, plus tax. So that's not, uh, that's not gonna be overly cheap. So I'm thinking it makes more sense to sell it, put a new chain on it, sell it for a few hundred bucks and uh, pick up a new bike this year. I can get this one, which is basically the same bike I have for like a thousand, but I'm leaning towards this one. Rob's gonna price this one out for me tomorrow and let me know how much that's gonna run. Uh, that is the Opus Citado 3 
or Cetato 3. It's a really cool blue looking color. Um, I like it. It looks cool. It lists for $11.99. So Rob's going to look it up tomorrow on his order sheet and see if he can get it and let me know uh, a price on it because I'll get a discount because I'm, I'm going to pay uh, cash for it. So um, I get a bit of a discount on it. So hopefully can price that out around maybe $1,100 tax in or even $1,150 tax in. Uh, then that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and get that because it doesn't make a lot of sense to spend six hundred dollars on parts uh, When I can get a new bike for a thousand or, or twelve and then sell my old one for a few hundred and it'll only be you know, six uh, six seven hundred out of my pocket, so That makes more sense and then everything's all brand new and it's a brand new bike and, and that makes more sense I don't really want to spend the money right now. I like my bike and um but there comes a point when it's just time to move on and get a new one because it just it costs more than it's really worth to fix it up. So there you go, cool beans. Uh, it's a sweet looking bike though. It is a very nice looking bike. So hopefully um, that works out, and uh, you know we can get that because that's a cool looking bike. Um, and I like the blue. The blue looks pretty rad. It has a 700C uh, wheel, so I can put my Continental uh, cyclocross tires on it and uh, rock it that way with my Continental cyclocross tires on it. Um, so that should be pretty cool. So, yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards anyway. We'll see how things work out. You know, Rob's going to see if he can get it, for one thing, and price it, because he's not entirely sure on the price yet. Um, that's what it lists for on their website, but... Prices fluctuate and, and vary sometimes, but I know I can get the other one, the giant Rome Zero Disc, for a thousand. Um, he has a couple of those on order already. They'll be in in a few weeks. So um, that's basically the same bike I have now. So there you go. I know that's a pretty decent bike too, because it's basically the same bike I have now, and I've been riding it for like three, four years. So there you go pretty much the same bike so if I don't get the other one I'll probably get that one again so there you go cool beans that's pretty much gonna do it for this week's bonus clip Thursday thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it I know there's a large gap in the middle of the day when I didn't vlog or anything but didn't really do anything that was overly exciting so there you go in fact I fell asleep in my chair here for a little while watching Netflix so there you go apparently I needed a nap. Us old fellas, us old fellas need our naps in the evening, you know, us old guys, cool beans. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Muse Day. Cool beans. Rock on.